Can a $77 dongle deck compete with a $350 dongle deck? I don't know. Let's find out together. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's find out if this Fozzy Audio at a fifth the price can compete with the Audio Quest. Complete transparency. Fozzy Audio is a sponsor of my channel. However, I'm gonna try not to let that jade or influence my decision or experience when I compared these two dongle decks. Not only am I comparing the Cobalt from Dragonfly from AudioQuest, this is the Dragonfly Cobalt. It's their top tier dongle deck from AudioQuest. I think this may be one of only one dongle decks from Fozzy Audio. But I've also got the Dragonfly Red from AudioQuest and the Dragonfly Black from AudioQuest and the HiDiz S9 Pro from HiDiz. One of the biggest differences is that Fozzy Audio has balanced and single-ended outputs and volume control right there, top and bottom. The Cobalt is a little bit more simple. It just has a single 3.5 millimeter output and it has a USB-A style of an input. And it's not really an input, you actually plug this right into your USB-A connection. The Fozzy has a USB-C type of input and it comes with a cable. So you just connect this either to your phone or to your laptop or whatever. If you only have USB-A, then you're probably gonna need to get one of these little adapter thingies, which it comes with. The Fozzy Audio doesn't seem to be as big of a deal connecting to things as the Cobalt, because the Cobalt design is actually a few years old. So it kind of keys off of the USB-A. A lot of the newer laptops, especially from Apple, don't have USB-A connectors. It, again, not a big deal though. If you wanna hook the Cobalt up to your phone and your phone's an iPhone, you're gonna need this. This is the lightning to camera adapter, not the lightning to USB adapter, the camera adapter, because Inside the iPhone, it does something weird, so this is the one that works, okay? So if you wanna use the Dragonfly Cobalt with your iPhone, you need one of these. The biggest reason why I'm comparing these two dongle DACs is because they utilize the same DAC chip, which is the ESS Sabre 9038Q2M. Same DAC chip in both of these dongle DACs, and it's the same DAC chip in the HiDiz dongle DAC. HiDiz also has balanced and 3.5 millimeter. The difference is that the Dragonfly Cobalt is a fixed output, so you have to control volume on the source device itself. So that's going to be your computer or your phone. This one has its own volume control on here. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. You know, I've always been told sometimes from a DAC manufacturer that if you have a digital source, go ahead and max out that volume. Because on some digital sources, if you're controlling volume, it can actually squish the resolution. Is that true? I don't know in all cases. But what I do know, the prevailing thought process is if you're listening to your computer, max out the volume on your computer and control volume on whatever analog device. And this is an analog device because it's converting, converting digital to analog. Anyway, control volume from here. Dragonfly Blue, Cobalt, sorry, does not give you that option. Here's something cool. I and AudioQuest are giving away all three of these decks. So the Dragonfly Cobalt, the Dragonfly Black, and the Dragonfly Red. And the only thing that you have to do is follow me on Instagram, follow AudioQuest on Instagram, and fill out the Google form. And in about a week or so, we're gonna give three of these dongle decks away to you. These two use the same DAC chip. Is that everything there is to know about a DAC? No, not really. This one also does MQA. So if you are a Title fan, a Title power user, and you like MQA, well then this is your only option because the Fozzy Audio does not have MQA. I did my testing through my wonderful mm, hi Femin Edition XS, my favorite headphone. And then it's probably the Meze 109, but I didn't listen to the Meze 109s. Why? Because I listened to this fairly hard to drive. Drop Sennheiser HD 6XX. A lot harder to drive headphone. Actually, neither one of these headphones 
is super easy to drive. So it was a good way to figure out if these little dongle DAC amps could handle heavier loads. The good news is that I feel like it did a great job. Both of them did a great job with the Hyphaman Edition XS. There's probably better options out there for the HD6 XX, but I still would have zero problem using these with either one of these dongle decks. Thing about it is though, I just don't like these headphones that much for music. So chances are I probably wouldn't be using them anyway, but I know this is a very popular headphone, so it doesn't really matter. Getting back to sound, you would think with the same DAC chip that they sound very similar. They don't actually, they sound quite a bit different. The cobalt is much more emphasized on the top end. You know, mid, 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 mid range up to the top end is really where this thing is concentrating. So you're getting a ton of detail. The Fozzy Audio seems, dare I say a little bit funner. It seems like the loudness button on an old receiver is turned on. So this is a lot more bumpy on the bottom end. The top end does have detail. I think I'm hearing more things from the Cobalt though, but for my listening purposes, I actually like the Fozzy better. The ironic thing is with the High Diz S9 Pro, this one sounds very similar to the Cobalt. So I was actually surprised at just how similar the High Diz and the AudioQuest sounded. The thing about the high diz though is I can already feel it getting a little bit loosey goosey on the USB C port here. Now I know maybe long term that'll be fine. Maybe I just need a different cable. But yeah, that one actually sounds it's probably the cable then. Anyway, the S9 Pro from High Diz just doesn't feel nearly as substantial as the Fozzy Audio. And the Dragonfly Cobalt feels pretty substantial too. Granted, there's more stuff going on in the Fozzy because you have the balanced outputs, but the Cobalt is um, no slouch when it comes to build quality. Although some of the some of the paint's already chipping off, so whoever gets this, it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> some of the paint's chipping off, but you get a free $350 DAC, right? So the Dragonfly Red that comes in around $200, the Black comes in around $100, and I have the call it the dragon's tail for this one basically what it is it's a usb a to usb c dongle cable all right all of these audio quests are great dongle decks so what are my final thoughts depending upon your budget depending upon what type of sound signature you're going after is gonna depend upon which product you want to buy personally probably not surprised here for my purposes, I would choose the Fozzy Audio DS1, not only because of the sound profile, but also because of the value. At around $77, this is, for me, a no-brainer. Unless you want the MQA, then you're gonna have to get the Dragonfly Cobalt. The sound signature is also a little bit different. It's a little bit more dynamic and lively to me. If you are listening to jazz, maybe classical, maybe things that you really want to delve into the details a little bit more than some grunge, some flannel wearing grunge dude hitting the cymbals every now and again, um, Cobalt's probably the way, way to go. If, if you're really listening to a lot of audiophile music, probably get the Dragonfly Cobalt because I think this is probably the more superior DAC when it comes to clarity. I'm not saying it's the funner deck though. I think this is the funner deck for me, but I don't listen to a lot of what people consider to be audiophile tracks. If that's you, Cobalt, maybe even Dragonfly Red. The funny thing is I actually think the Fozzy Audio sounds closer to the Dragonfly Red than it does to the Cobalt, even though these have the same DAC chip. I think they're both great, but the value proposition on the Fozzy Audio is out of this world. So if you want a chance to win either the Dragonfly Black or the Red or the Dragonfly Blue, follow me on Instagram, follow AudioQuest on Instagram, and fill out the Google form. Give them away in about a week. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheapaudio. Every Sunday night we have Patreon-only Zooms, Patreon-only Discord, Patreon-only Facebook. You can also use 
the affiliate links to buy any of these products. Those are affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy, you get a commission. It doesn't cost you any more. You can also sign up for Amazon Music, Rune, Tidal Music, links in the description. Even if you quit, I still get a couple of bucks. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through one of these awesome dongle decks and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.